<laughs> that listening to my goat. Oh, is that out? Listening to my uh, my goat. That listening to my that. You're listening to my mistake. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Big Anklevich. Welcome to another episode of That Gets My Goat here on the Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine. Wow, you've done this before. Maybe. Maybe a time or two. I didn't even have to cut out any ums. (laughs) Introduce yourself as well, Rish. (laughs) This is Rish Outfield, a very tired Rish Outfield. And Big knows this. The audience may not know this, or do they know this? That when I get tired... I become overly emotional. Oh, no. I have cried three times today. uh, Okay. So once more than usual. (laughs) It's just one more than usual. (laughs) Well, one person in this room knows me very well. But uh, it is February now, crazily enough. And I thought that it would be nice... For you and me to get together virtually, uh, we can't get together physically, to talk about February. Yeah, February has become kind of a big month for us over the years, right? Wait, wait, why is it a big month for you? Well, because we've done this same thing. This will be the third year that we've done it. Not the third year in a row, I don't think. But the third year that we've decided to, or is it? Maybe it's only the second. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, this, I think, is the fourth for me in a row, but... Really? Oh, no, no, no. You know what? I take it back. Two years ago, 2018, was the year I couldn't write. And I just... Uh. I, I said, you know, I need to not write anymore. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I do remember that. You know what? Um, we ought to uh, clue people into what we're talking about before we go further. So let me just say, uh, it's February... It's a big month for us because we have decided to make this the month where we write every single day uh, during that month. Or as you call it, a day. Yeah, Yeah, that's what it's like for me now. But yeah, back in, I want to say it was 2017 was the first time that we did it. Do you remember why we did it the first time in 2017? Well, I think I had done it the year before. Uh, I had gone to the writers' conference that happens in the middle of February in my town every year, and I was just like, "Okay, this is I'm I'm super psyched. I'm going to be a writer. I'm going to write every single day." And this was 2016, and I think I went through the month of March writing every single day. And the next year, I I was excited for the uh, <laughs> starts with the C. The upcoming conference that would the be the conference. Yeah, and so I was it's always like, right I'm... around Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's often on Valentine's Day. But luckily, writers don't have intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> luckily for you. I was going to say present company excluded, but I chose not to. So yeah, I was excited about the conference and I decided to start writing the, for the whole month before the conference. This was 2017, and I think you got wind of it, and you're just like, oh, yeah, that, that was fun last year when we were both writing or keeping track of our writing. So we both did February. Then 2018 was the year I just couldn't write, and it's like, I thought I wanted to be a writer, but what I would rather be <laughs> is a cautionary tale. <laughs> and ultimately, you got me back on the wagon with the Metallica story. And uh, then last year, yeah, I, I think we did it. From the 1st of February, we were already ready to No, go. last year you got me back on the wagon because last year you did it in February and I was just like, meh. And I didn't do it and then you kept saying, boy, it sure would be cool if you wrote too. You ought to try it. And you kept bugging me and you bugged me all through March and I finally started in April and I wrote almost every day in April and then I also wrote almost every day in May. And that was when I finished uh, that Christmas story that I'd done. Uh, the Christmas Creature. The Christmas Creature. And I made it into June before I finally petered out. That's impressive, dude. Not the petering out part. <laughs> the petering out part I could do. Yeah, that, I've the... petered out lots of times before. I'm actually pretty good at that. 
too bad that's not impressive. But yeah, then I decided, I tried to get myself, kick myself back into gear in September, but I only managed three days worth before I gave it up again. And then I finally, in October, kicked myself back off because... Your birthday is Yeah, for me, October, yeah, it's when my birthday came and it was when I turned 45, which... If you're a longtime listener, and especially if you used to listen to my solo podcast, The Ankle Cast, then you would remember when I came out with this big goal that I was going to become a writer by the time I was 45. It was going to be, you know, my job by the time I was 45. And I had all these plans of stuff I was going to do to make it happen. And I kept doing these inspirational intros where it would be like, you got five years. And then there would be an inspirational quote, five years. And then another inspirational quote and all that stuff you going on. every me. shot you don't take. Yeah, it was all that kind of stuff. Me, Your t- mountain is waiting. Oh, man. It's kind of embarrassing to think about that because, yeah, I didn't make it. I petered out uh, as usual. Yeah, but maybe there were people out there that were inspired by, I mean, it still sucks for you where you're just like, I gave up, but I I can hear the crowd cheering at the finish line for the people I encourage to keep going. (laughs) Yeah, that's kind of the way. I mean, maybe there is some silver lining to it like that, but yeah, when I hit 45, I realized, damn it, that's the end of the five years and I did not make it. And I, you know, considered, finding a tall cliff or a bridge or something like that that I could just jump off of. But uh, instead, I thought about the genesis of that thing in the first place. Because (laughs) when I was 30, I remember sending an email to you talking about how I was going to become a writer when I turned 35 and then I got to 35 and I hadn't turned, I hadn't become a writer. And you're like, well, I mean, you can just start over, make your goal when you're turned 40. And I thought, yeah, that's what I'll do. I feel better. Of course, I didn't do it then. <laughs> and I didn't do it again when I turned 40. When, but this time around, I'm like, okay, no, we're going to, we're going to really go for it. And so I figured the first thing that I need to do is write. Because that's, uh, I want to say it was Stephen King that said that in his own writing book. Am I right? Does that sound familiar to you? Where he said, writers write every day. A writer is someone who writes. So. Well, we've been quoting him for years (laughs) on that. If he didn't say it, then it's one of those where it's just like, you know, it's attributed to Stephen King now. (laughs) Right. We'll never know who really said it. But yeah, I, so I figured that's probably, that that might have been where I screwed up in the first place when I turned 40, is what I should have done first was get that part of being a writer down. Writing every day, making it a habit, a thing that I do to the point where I don't feel good if I didn't do it. I feel guilty. I feel like I... I I let myself and and all my millions and legions of fans down. Um, (laughs) Yeah, I don't know which part of that is the saddest. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, yeah, I figured that's what I need to work on. So starting October 28th, I started writing with a goal of writing 300,000 words in my 46th year. By the time I turn 46, I will have written 300,000 words that I hadn't written before. And it was difficult at first. (laughs) I was trying just to get myself going. I figured that I could make 300,000 words because I went back and looked at those times before when you and I had written every day. In 2017, I wrote 500 words a day in February. That was my goal. And I managed 20,000 words that month. And then I upped my total to a thousand words a day and I managed 36,000 words that month of uh, March and another 29,000 words the next month, although 
I'm looking at it, and I guess I didn't have that same goal of a thousand words a day because there was a few days where I just did 500. I don't know what that's all about. And four days where I did zero. But uh, yeah, I still managed 29,380 words on on that month. So I figured, you know, around 30,000 words a month, if I'm going for it, I should be able to make that. So I figured times 10 and then give myself two months of, you know, leeway. Yeah, I could probably do 300,000 words in a year. And so, yeah, that's what I'm, I've been doing uh, ever since. It was uh, a little difficult at first. I have to admit, November was slow. Uh, there were many days where I wrote, I don't know, 121 words, which is, I don't know, like three or four sentences. <laughs> There's a day uh, I'm looking on here. I got one where I wrote 101 words which is basically just me writing so that I could say that I wrote. Okay, but sorry, I got to interrupt you, man. I've been fat for a little while now, and I'm trying not to be. Is it better, let's say, that I do 20 sit-ups every single day or 100 sit-ups only on Saturdays? I think you would say, as a fit person... (laughs) <laughs> that 20 sit-ups a day is better than 100 sit-ups on Saturday, right? Probably, yeah. You get yourself in the habit. Although I mean, muscles are a little different than writing, you, you do got to give them time to recover. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, yeah, I don't, I, I'm just trying to make the... I, I, I think even if you only wrote 100 words a day, the fact is it's a day. Yeah. Uh, and, and I tend to be a... Uh, serial masturbator. No, the other word. Uh, somebody that all, that is not dependable. That I own. You know, I have fits and starts. I, I think it is serial masturbator, is the word. <laughs> uh, and so there will be days like today where I wrote nearly three thousand words, and the library kicked me out. Otherwise, I would be there even now with tears running down my cheeks. But you, you write every single day. Uh, so I, I, I'm just trying to make the comparison. Even if you only write 100 words a day, you're trying to get yourself conditioned that this is what I do every day. I'm a serial writer. And so, I mean, I'm impressed. Even if you only wrote 50 words, but you did it every single day. Yeah, that was my plan. That was what November was supposed to be all about, was getting... I didn't even give myself a word count limit or goal or anything like that. It was just getting myself used to trying to write every single day again. Unfortunately, I I still missed a lot of days because especially it was mostly the weekends. Uh, I would write, and I still do it, I write on my lunch break at work. And then on weekends, when I didn't have a lunch break at work, I would often just forget. I would just do my thing. And then uh, the end of the day would come and I would go to sleep. And then the next day I would wake up and go, oh, crap, I I didn't write last night. And so, you know, I was trying to break that habit. Then December was when I finally gave myself a word count goal. I had to get 500 words every day now. I'd I'd gotten used to writing. Now it was time to get used to writing a lot. And so if I wrote, I wrote 500 words, but I was still having issues. I mean, obviously, my dad passed away, and I had to leave town. I missed like nine days in a row because of that. Several of those days were spent entirely driving, um, which it's hard to write while you drive, I have to admit. Although I'm I'm trying to come up with some kind of a way to work that out. I think maybe uh, one of those programs that will... Uh, you know, you dictate to it and it just writes down whatever you say. Actually, I've seen some people actually use that as their way to write. And I just think, oh my gosh, that would be awesome. I have to drive an hour to and an hour from work every day. That would be awesome. Okay, uh, so, so, sorry. If I don't know what it is, maybe there's somebody else out there listening. In fact, I hope there's somebody else out there listening <laughs> who doesn't know what you're talking about. It is an app. Or it is a machine that records what you say and then types it out, transcribes it. Uh, I believe it is an app. I've, I've asked some p- around about it and they said you should get... There's some app called Dragon something something, which supposedly works really good. 
Wait, this was like a big shot writer that told you this. This is somebody we've heard of that told you this. Oh, that's that's right. It was CJ Cherry that told me that. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I mentioned it uh, on Facebook, and she was one of the people that responded to me. And I just thought, wow, CJ Cherry responded to my question about how to ride in the car? Oh, my gosh. What a what a crazy world. Yeah, this, this is going to offend the hell out of CJ Cherry. But every time I go to the used bookstore, there are books by her there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. But that means something. That means she has books out there, which I <laughs> certainly don't. So I would like to also have books in the used bookstore and in the new bookstore. And I don't know anywhere, anywhere that you buy books. Um, the recycle bin. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, she, she mentioned that uh, as well as a couple other people. And so I thought uh, I would check that out. They do have the app and I've considered getting it. I haven't tried it yet. But I have uh, considered it a lot because um, it looks easy. Uh, the the one that they that I saw, you you get the app and and it's got like a subscription or something like that, and so you subscribe and you pay like. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I I think that kind of sucks. But it's like fifteen bucks a month or something like that. Unfortunately, you can't just buy it. You know, that's like the new damn thing uh. that I'm sick of these days. You can't buy service. anything anymore. You have to be on the hook for the rest of your life. Anytime you want to use a program, well, that's going to cost you 15 bucks a month, whether you use it or not. <laughs> there needs to be an option where you can just buy the damn thing. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's it's an app that you uh, get. And I thought, eh, 15 bucks a month might totally be worth it. If I can get two extra hours in writing every day. And they do have a free trial that you can start with. So I figured I'll, I'll sooner or later, I'm going to do that free trial and I'm going to try it out and see if I can manage to do it. You know what I mean? Like, is that something that I can do? I do find that recording myself talking while I drive keeps me going. If I'm not recording myself, I'll just stop after a while. You know, I'll, I'll, I try planning out my books sometimes while I'm driving. And I'll just try and work it out in my head while I'm driving. And if I'm not recording myself, I'll just start thinking instead. And then my mind will wander off onto other subjects, etc. But if there's a recording, I'm like, oh, i got to keep on subject. And so I'll just keep trying to work out the story. Well, I, I, I would like to put a call out to our listeners. If anybody has used this Dragon program, please let us know either in the comments or an email are the pros and cons of using this program because if it is super problematic and like you have to go through and like fix all the words that it misheard then maybe it's not for us but if it's going to save us time and you can get to work and be like holy crap i already have 380 words just from what i said in the car or in your case because you drive so much you've already got over a thousand words just right there right I don't know about $15 a month, but it's worth thinking about if it would help us in getting where we want to be. Maybe I could get a Patreon started and see if I can manage to get $15 a month from the Patreon so that I could pay for it. <laughs> I, I think that that is doable. I think there are people that care about you and uh, they would like to see you succeed. Oh, come on. Let's not exaggerate. <laughs> that sounds like me. This is how I must sound all the time. <laughs> so after your birthday, you started writing down your daily word count. And uh -huh. you've been posting that on your blog. And it's that is so interesting. In the past, we have done that. Where we've had... It's not really a competition, but it's a... What's like two steps below competition? Like right below competition is a friendly rivalry, but what is below that? Uh, it's when we all win, maybe. Like everybody gets a trophy yes. for participating. Everyone gets a participation <laughs> trophy. That's what we have done in the past. And I just enjoy that. I enjoy, even though you're the one writing and I'm the one just laying there in my own filth. It's still cool to see your blog and to see, oh my gosh. It's still enjoyable to be there in my filth. Even I'm not that <laughs> deluded. The, uh, 
the end of the month, you know, you've tallied up the number of days that you've written and how many words you wrote and what the average was and what the circumference of pi is Mm -hmm. and how you did compared to last month. And I, I apologize if I'm stepping on your story, but you did it a little bit in October. You did it a little bit more in November. You did it a little bit more in December. You didn't write every single day in those months, but you managed to raise your word count every single month, which to me sounds like momentum. It sounds like progress. By the end of January, before it had even ended, you had already crossed 30,000 words, which was your goal of writing a thousand words a day. Right. And I just, you're a man of the world, Squire. What's it like? (laughs) Well, it's nice. It's nice for that to actually happen. If I remember right, going back to what I was saying before, you know, December, I up or I made the goal 500 words a day, whereas in November, I had no goal. It was just try and write every day, then try and write 500 words every day. And then in January, it was try and write 1000 words every day. And of course, you know, the the former goal kept coming through, you know, it's like write every day write 500 words every day, write a thousand words every day. So I still, unfortunately, have not quite made it every day <laughs> in any of those months. January is the closest that I got. <laughs> oh, you you shot yourself in the foot in January because you missed the first I day. <laughs> I, I did, yeah. It was a it was another one of those days. I, I was off of work on, on, it was New Year's Day, so it was a free day off and I took it. And again, I forgot. And so, yeah, I totally shot myself in the foot. I I stumbled out the gate, as they say. And I did miss one other day oh, okay. uh, through the rest of January. So I missed two days altogether, which is way better than either of the other two months. So there's that. But yeah, I did get a thousand words every day that I did write. And... You know, when you write a thousand words, you're not going to write exactly a thousand. Uh, there was one day where I wrote one thousand and four, <laughs> which is as close to the mark as I probably ever have come. Yes, but there but, was a more important number during that month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was one time where I stopped to check my uh, word count and I was at six hundred and sixty six words. So I had to take a picture of that and send that over to Rish because I knew he would appreciate it. <laughs> And it, oh, I did. I, I think I I think I didn't cry that day. That's how much I was pleased with <laughs> your number. Yeah, I felt bad continuing on from there because I was just like, no, this is this is the perfect <laughs> one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, usually you know you get a thousand forty-two or a thousand seventy or even eleven hundred or some. I, I even got thirteen hundred uh, one day this month. And so you get, you get a bunch of extra. And so even though I missed two days, uh, I was more than a thousand words over the goal of 30,000. So now uh, in February, I have to be better because (laughs) there isn't as many days. So there's not as much leeway. I have to get that extra. Oh, wow. A little bit. That's a good point. So, so do you have to exceed the number from January? Or if you write a thousand words a day and you only get, you know, 28,000 words in February, that's a success. Yeah, I mean, that would be, as long as I've written a thousand words every day, I think the success of February would be to not forget any day, you know, to make it all the way through from the 1st to the 28th without missing a single day, that would be the big success because I still have yet to manage that. And as Stephen King said, a writer writes every day, so I'm still not a writer. doesn't matter that I've written 58,000 words since since I started on this quest. I'm not a writer because I didn't write every day yet. 58,000 words is so impressive, dude. I mean, suddenly I'm in high school again and my friend Dennis is having girlfriends and I'm like, what do they feel like? (laughs) And he's like, I'm not going to tell you that. But please. So what's it like? <laughs> Do you take photographs? Nature photography? Holiday snaps? Click, click. Wink, wink. 
Sorry, I couldn't even remember it. Dang, I am tired. Okay, so there is a way that the audience can help on this, and that is to give us money. No, well, yes, that too. <laughs> but if you will help encourage us, let Big know that you're in his corner. Let Big know that you want him to succeed. Uh, okay, whoa, whoa, hold, hold on a second. What? You, you keep saying let Big know, let Big know that you're in his corner, you want him to succeed, stuff like that. Well, I, it's genuine. I do want you to succeed. Uh, okay, so. but am I the only one doing this here? Have you said anything about your own plans? Uh, yes, I would like to be reclined with a woman. <clears throat> <laughs> No, I, I guess I haven't. I, I'm so tired, I don't know. Yeah. I... Uh, the point of this podcast, and do you believe it? It was my idea. What? <laughs> was to announce to people that we will be, we, the Dune Steve, will be writing every single day in February and hold us to it. And I have been writing an extraordinary amount. 2019 was my most productive year to date. And it just, it, it didn't stop once it crossed into 2020. But I don't write every single day. I'm one of those guys that, okay, I got 2,300 words today or whatever. What was that number I sent you the other day? It was like 2,800 or something. Yeah. But, but then I write nothing the next day or the next day. I, I felt like I was fine. I hadn't committed to writing every single day. And then I had these other goals. One of my goals was to put out my second novel. And now that it's out there, it's like February. Hey, let's start doing what Big does, which is ignore his children. <laughs> no, which is write every single day. So I, too, will be writing every single day. But, I, you know, I don't know that I can commit to a thousand words a day. We can do it as a science experiment. I, I will just write every day. And some days I will write a lot more than you. But other days I won't even come close and then at the end of the month, we can look and say, would it have been better to just say, I'll write when I feel like it, but it has to be every single day. Or nope, I can't quit until I've reached a thousand words. Uh, and that way it can be the uh, everybody gets a trophy <laughs> that we wish life were actually like. Yeah, there we go. Buddy, uh, we all win. That sounds good. Uh, you know, I'm, like I said before, you know, the most important when I started this, the most important thing was just getting myself to do it. I, I didn't start out with the goal of a thousand words a day. That wasn't until the third full month that I started trying that. I am considering possibly raising it up even a little bit higher at some point just to see if I could handle that. See, I think I've been wrong all these years. You do hate yourself. <laughs> it's not just me. Yeah, you had told me you were going to up it to 1,500 words in like March or something like that. And I was just like, why? Why Why set yourself up to fail? Yeah, I, if I do up it, I will start with 1,250 before I go to 1,500. <laughs> I just would like to see just if I can get myself to where I'm really humming along. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, I can do that easy. And... Some some days it seems like you can really just spit those words out without trouble. And then there's other days where it's it's hard. And yeah, I mean just just a little while ago I wrote two days where it was kind of hard, but I wrote a thousand words and then on the third day I'm just like, "Damn, I can't." And I realized all the shit that I wrote those first two days just sucked and I had to throw it all away. It was crap. And I went back and I was just, oh my gosh, that's like two full days. It's 2,000 words I'm just throwing out. Ugh, that oh, sucks. see, so you, do you think it had something to do with n not wanting to do it? or In the past, we've always I written, might have never be able to know which days you were inspired and the words just kept flowing and which days it was like squeezing blood from a turnip. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. It was that I wasn't sure. The reason I wasn't enjoying myself was because I wasn't sure where I was going with the stuff I was writing. I was kind of writing out into the dark. Pantsing, as they call it. Sure. Or flying by the seat of your pants. Soiling your pants, in my case. Yeah, soiling my pants is really what I was doing, it turns out, because, yeah, I wrote all that stuff, and then I was like, yeah, that stuff sucks. I don't want it to do that. I need the story to do something else, and so I had to just chuck that. And I was really sad, because there was actually parts of it that I really liked, 
and I was loath to get rid of it, but I had to because it led right into the next part, which was the part that sucked. And so if I kept the first part, I had to keep the second part. And so it just all had to go. And I was like, darn, <sighs> I guess I still wrote. So I got the practice. So it was worth something. Huh. Well, that, that seems like a very adult decision you had to make there of killing your darlings, as they say. <laughs> Yeah, I made up I had made up a toy line as part of the story and I was coming up with like cheesy names for these uh <laughs> the Zuper Bears they were called and I was coming up with names like Princess Zancy Pants and stuff like that. Just really cheesy names for these children's uh toys that the that the guy's daughter wanted to buy and I was sad to throw them all out. But maybe you could write like an ancillary short story that includes this <laughs> this aspect of the story that you throw in yeah. as a, a bonus if somebody buys the the collection, the Sunny and Gray saga. Here's the deleted scenes. <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen a book with deleted scenes in it? I have not. Generally, that means that they were bad. I think they just leave them in. If it's a book, they don't care if it's like five pages longer or whatever. But that was a little tough to do. I, I've I've lost the track of where we were going with this, though, with my side story. No, no, it's 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 fine. I just uh, we're both going to be writing every single day, and we're both going to be documenting how we're doing. And I, yeah, it's not a competition. It's just a. Uh, I don't even know if it's an experiment. It's just something, an activity. It's something we're doing together, although not literally together. To help each other and to help ourselves. I, I don't think there's a loser in this scenario. Oh, I think there's a couple of losers, but... Oh. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely the case. We, uh, we, we're we going to be better because of it. But yeah, we, we would just like... If you're if you see us on Facebook or something like that and we haven't, you know, that's one thing that I'm going to do is try and post my word count that I did every single day. So if you're not seeing my word counts getting posted, give me a hard time. Say, hey, what's going on? I didn't see if you posted one from the 12th. What the hell? Because I, I admittedly am bad at posting on my blog often, but I will post on my blog and then I'll also post a tweet, a link to that blog post and post the link also on Facebook so that uh, you can see how many words that I wrote. Maybe I'll even come up with a fancy little graphic. Hands on keyboard. Oh my gosh. You could get another 250 words in the time. What did you used to call it a few years ago? You had like a thing for each month and it was like March Madness and then April Sadness. And you kept on going with that thing for, for most of the year. <laughs> it was not 20. Maybe it was just last year, 2019. Did you do March Madness and stuff on your blog? Hold on a sec. I'm going to go look it up. We're going to see for sure. Rish okay. Outfield.blogspot.com. Bang. You've got one of those little, uh, is it an infographic or something like that that gives you like a little barcode of how close you are to your goal? Yeah. Um, I become physically aroused when I see that little infographic. It's so cool <laughs> to see it because it's like a, a, a thermometer turned on its side. Right. And it's showing you how close to your goal you're getting. I don't know. There's something just, I viscerally, I see that. And I'm just like, that is so cool. March Madness, day one. March Madness. Oh, no. And now it's, you say March Radness, day seven. <laughs> oh, no. March Madness, day 55. I wrote 55 days in a row? What year was this? This is 2019. Dave, I don't know if you wrote 55 days in a row, but day 55 on April, this is April 24th, was day 55. You're still doing March Madness. What does it mean that I, I can't remember having done this? Yeah, this was last year. This was less than a year ago. And you have this little graphic thing that you made. It's March Madness, and it has the little brackets coming off each side. And then you've changed out the, uh, it must have been like an NCAA symbol or something on the side. And you keep switching it out for like Bosk's head or <laughs> your head or or fake Sean Connery's head. That sounds familiar. 
<laughs> I mean, it better, right? If it was actually me that did it. <laughs> yeah. And when I post my word count, I think I'll try and come up with some kind of cool picture. I think I did that last year. I, I made up like a name, April Powers, I think it was, because I started writing in April. And I was powering through, man. That was totally not lame. I don't know why you would say that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try and post. Uh, this month, I'm going to post every single day. I swear it. I swear it will be done. And if I forget, bug me. But I'm going to get every single day this month. For sure. 1,000 words every single day, no matter what. Those are brave words, sir. But that's why we're here. Yeah, so so we're going for it. And uh, I guess we'll have another That Gets My Goat at the end of February where we can talk about how it went. A, a sort of debrief. Yeah. You know, that's several ways that you can uh, keep tabs on us, I guess. I'm excited, you know, it's it's coming along. I wrote in 2017 my first novel, which was the first part of the Sunny and Gray, what turned out to be the Sunny and Gray trilogy. It wasn't supposed to be a trilogy, it was supposed to be a one book thing. So now I'm trying to finish the second book of the Sunny and Gray trilogy. The first book is 81,000 words and I'm I'm into the 50,000 word mark of book 2 which is pretty exciting. And I'm trying to jump out and do random short stories as well as I, as I work my way through it, just to give me a little something else to work on, a little break from Sunny and Gray now and then. It's nice to have Sunny and Gray always there, and I can just keep getting back to it and keep working on it. Uh, but I'm yeah, I'm starting to get close to the finish of that one as well, and uh, that's, that's pretty exciting. I think next... Gray. Before I do Sunny and Gray 3, I think I will do The Gauntlet, which I've probably talked about a million times on here. Yeah, you've talked about it so much that I was shocked recently when you told me that you hadn't actually written it. I, that was one of those <laughs> where I thought, okay, Big is at least 25,000 words into The Gauntlet, maybe 50,000 words into The Gauntlet. I don't know mm -hmm. why I got that impression, but uh, I had... Yeah, uh, I should have been that far into the gauntlet. Yeah, the funny thing was when I told you about it, because I, I started working on the outline for it um, last year after I finished my story and I was trying to make sure I kept writing every day. I finally decided, you know what, if I write words that are planning for a story that I'm going to write, that counts too. I was talking with you on the phone about how that book was going to go. And you're like, wait, you know all this stuff about this book? It's not even written yet? <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's going to be the next thing that I work on. And maybe I'll try and throw in some other stories. A few story ideas that I've had in the past have popped into my head again. Uh, and I'm thinking, you know, I never I never wrote that. I Maybe I should do that, too. Maybe I need to get that dragon program <laughs> and just start uh, working out my ideas as I drive. That's like I said, uh, I would like to hear from people who have used it or used a similar program. If you've used a program that's the, not the dragon program, you're just like, no, this is great. Let us know. Um, I, sometimes, yeah, one that's free. <laughs> right. Those things do exist. That would be really cool. Uh, I'm excited about this month. I think it's going to be good. I'm going to see if I can, at the very least, beat last month's total. That's not necessarily what I'm shooting for every time. I, I did manage that, you know, each month so far. I only did 3,000 words in October, 11,000 in November, 12, almost 12,500 in December, and 30 some odd thousand in January. We'll see if I can get well above that. Uh, see if I can get like 36 or 38. That would be neat. And hey, here's here's another thing uh, as far as our listening audience goes. If you would like to also participate in this, feel free to join in. We would love to have others in the right every day of the month club with us. So yeah, you know, let us know. Maybe I'll put a post on Facebook and see if we can get people to volunteer to jo to join us. Right. Yeah. And, and just 
part of the reason we're doing this is if you put it out there, you make it known that you have set a goal, psychologically, I think you feel more obligated to fulfill it. If you know that yeah. people are aware that you have this goal, it's just like, I'm not going to smoke a cigarette the whole month of March. And then you go someplace and you're just like, oh, I really need a cigarette. Oh, Marcy over there knows that I have promised this month I'm not going to smoke. All right, I guess I'm not going to do it. Bad example, because Marcy had two cigarettes. Have you ever done that? Holy crap. She had two. At once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, not that she had one in her hand and one in her pocket. Yes, yeah, two means she was smoking them at the same time. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I think, I suppose we probably said our piece. We probably uh, beat this horse to death. I agree. I, you and I will see each other in a month. Uh, and we'll let people know how it went. And uh, I, I, dude, I look forward to asking you, okay, what were the projects that you worked on? And what did you enjoy? And what was your hardest day? And what was your best day? And, and, and what's it like? <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun to be able to, to go through it after it's over. So we'll have to see. I know that Marshall has his story contest coming up in this month, right? Where you write a song or <laughs> you write a story based on a journey song. Yeah, that's right. That may well end up being one of the uh, projects that we tackle during this month of writing. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, I have been Big Anklevich, writer. Oh, and I've been Rich Outfield, also writer. Ri- oh, I couldn't get it out there. It must not be true. <laughs> you, you were supposed to say serial masturbator. <laughs> ah, that's right. The cue card guy was sleeping on the job. Standing up, holding the cue. He's using the cue cards to prop himself up. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Okay. See you next month. <laughs> you know what gets my goat? That this show is produced under your Creative Commons 3.0 license. Why would you bother? <laughs> this is how I must sound all the time. <laughs> I, this can be an outtake, but the, 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 the girl, I heard her say the other day that she, uh, that she was giving advice to somebody and said, you know, you need to cut toxic people out of your life. And I was like, oh my gosh, would she consider me a toxic person? <laughs> tear. That was my tear of that day. Yeah. You're like, oh, now I know why I have so, so few friends now. Oh, crap. I've been cut out of people's lives because I'm the toxic one. <sighs> thank, dude, thank goodness we have this podcast. <laughs> I know yep. that it, everything I say sounds like sarcasm or whatever, but the thought that like even two people would give a crap whether we write every single day or not is, uh, ooh, I am tired, guys. It almost came right there. <laughs> but anyhow, I, I, a few minutes ago, or an hour ago it might have been, I interrupted you, and you, there was something you were desperately trying to say. Do you remember what it was? Um. <laughs> okay, well, I will take over then. I think I did the same thing. Let me go to mine. Big. I think I did a similar thing. I, I want to say I called mine, like, April Powers. March Pril Madness. <laughs> April Powers? <laughs> Like April showers? Last month, yeah, last month, Rich decided to make his goal to write every day of the month. He called it March Madness, or Gladness, or Radness, or Sadness, depending on how he did. He bothered me pretty relentlessly to join him in the goal. Since I'm the world's laziest, least worthwhile human being, I mostly ignored him. I did read his blog post about his process, though, and despite all the struggle and the hard work that he spoke of, it kind of made me wish I'd taken him up on his challenge. Well, it's a new month, a new chance to make a goal and keep it. New chance for Rish to renew his push to get me writing, which he did. April 1st was no joke for me. It was texts and phone calls suggesting that I'd better get writing. Well, yesterday, April 2nd, not the 1st, I finally took him up on it. Pulled out my Christmas story. Oh, that I started in December, but left fallow for yay these many moons and wrote another 300 words on it. So I called it April Powers and then I made a little graphic where it has a close-up of the keyboard, and it says, April Powers, Big Anklevich, writes every day this month. And I would post that each time that I would put my word count for the week. So what's a clever name we can call February? 
Dupo Rimo. <laughs> you and I both know February sweeps because we both worked in news. Yeah, how sweeps it is. I don't know that we need to come up with something for it yet. I mean, we can develop that as the month goes along, too, if you want to. Okay. So we can uh, skip all that stuff. But wait, wait, when you say all that stuff, how far back do I skip? <laughs> I don't know. However far back you need to to, to make it not suck. <laughs> I press the button. You're listening to the Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine.